This video will show you how to properly land a DC probe. Landing probes is probably the most important step in achieving reliable, repeatable electrical measurements. Too little contact pressure will result in unstable measurements, but too much could damage the probe or sample under test. A typical DC probe has a needle style tip that is landed on the sample where the signal transfers directly to the probe tip via the center conductor of a coaxial cable with no mechanism for blocking heat flowing with the electrical signal to the sample. A Lakeshore ZN50R DC probe is different in that it is designed in a way that transitions the signal from the signal cable to a temperature stable ceramic blade that is cooled by the probe mount prior to transitioning to the probe tip. For general purpose DC measurements, the backside of the ZN50 blade is grounded, and for high impedance DC measurements that require a guard voltage, the backside of the ZN50 blade is driven by the guard voltage. In both cases, the ZN50 design provides key thermal cooling of the probe tip, blocks unwanted heat to the sample, and provides an optimized electrical measurement. Though the two styles of probe look different, the procedure for landing either style tip on a sample is the same, and the procedure that follows will apply to both. Consult your manufacturer's user's manual in the case of any concerns or questions. In step one, we will ensure the probe is visible through the viewport on the vacuum chamber and then use the z-axis micrometer to raise all probes above the sample stage enough to clear the sample landing pad. While visually observing through the vacuum chamber viewport, use the x-axis hand dial and y-axis micrometers to position the probe tips over the sample landing pad. Then we will swing the microscope back over the viewport and adjust the microscope to fill the monitor with the sample image and focus at the height of the sample landing pad. Use the z-axis micrometer or z-axis adjustment to lower the probe tip until the tip begins to come into focus. When the tip begins to come into focus, begin to slow the downward adjustment inputs. Continue lowering the probe slowly. Visually observe the shadow of the probe tip on the sample. Probe tip contact with the sample can be seen by observing when the shadow of the probe tip meets the actual probe tip. Once the probe tip is landed, indicated by a slight forward movement known as skating, continue lowering the probe tip for a consistent amount of over-travel. A typical amount of over-travel skating is 20 to 25 microns. You can gauge the amount of over-travel by knowing the dimensions of the landing pad or another feature of known size on the sample. The desired position of the probes with respect to the edge of the landing pad and the desired amount of over-travel skating should be determined and used as a lab standard to ensure consistent results.